Hi, it's your coach Joe Lucas with your Practice Power Daily Power Minute. Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to March 28th. Hope you're enjoying your strategic week if you're on one. And uh, as a reminder, please make sure you go ahead and uh, go to practicepower.net and work on or at least schedule your quarterly recap and review. A very powerful process. You know, I've gone over a couple of them now. And uh, those clients of mine who have uh, actually gone through it, you know, not, it takes you between an hour and two to do it. But it's a very, very, very powerful process. Now, what I want to talk about is I just spent the last couple of days in Costa Rica, and when I go away, I always tend to you know do some really good thinking around things. And what I realize is, and more as a reminder, quite frankly, that there are really, uh, if you will, three elements of being a successful financial advisor. Uh, our industry focuses on two. I tend to focus on the third. So what are the three elements of being a successful financial advisor? Well, first off is your intellectual capital, which is, your licensing, you know how to build portfolios, you know you know how to do financial planning. Uh, in other words, uh, you you could do the business, okay? You're not you're not intellectually challenged to be successful, okay? And most of the time, we think in terms of training and designations, okay? The second place is what we call systems, all right? So your contact management system, marketing system, uh, financial planning systems, client map, everything from a systemization standpoint. You need to have those things, right? And I guess along with those systems is you need to manage and lead your team well. Whether you share a part-time assistant or you have a team of 18, the bottom line is you need to have the you know, kind of the, the business acumen, if you will, for around that. But here's the third piece, and this is the one that our industry doesn't like to talk about because there's really no simple solution, so to speak. And that is, you know, you've got to make sure you're in the right emotional state. In other words, you've got to. Be, you know, think about being successful. You need to run your rituals. You need to have the right the mindset, the attitude. You need to understand what your beliefs are. You need to change your limiting beliefs. And you need to make sure that everyone you wake up and you like the person you see in the mirror. Again, the personal development business. And the easiest thing for firms to do, quite frankly, is the first two. Let's go get you a CFP. Let's go get you a SEMA. Hey, we're going to bring in some practice management people to help you with book segmentation, all this other stuff. And if it was as simple as that, then everybody who's designated, everybody who has systems, would be wildly successful. Yet we know that's not true. So this is the missing piece, all right? So I just want to bring your awareness to this because it's a critical function here, okay, is, again, the personal development aspect of our business. And I'll be spending some more time on this over the next couple of days uh, expanding upon it. But have a great day today. Again, don't forget to schedule uh, your first quarter recap review, and I'll see you tomorrow.